Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. So today we're exploring the colour palette of Fair Aqua for the month of March and today we're going to be creating a planted and textured letter. So this is something that would be suitable for a corporate environment. Um, you could use the letter to spell out your branding. Um, it's, it's really eco-friendly as well because it's got moss included which helps to eliminate pollution. Um, the planted little echeverias that we're going to use are really long lasting as well. Um, so a really good environment for, for work. Um, plants help to reduce stress, increase productivity and create, help generally create a better working environment. So yeah, a, a really good combination for a work based arrangement. So the ingredients that I'm going to use today are Indian moss. You could excuse me, actually use any type of moss that you wanted to. I'm using the Indian moss today because it's actually a dried product, um, but fresh would work equally as well. Also got some little Tillandsia plants here, so you might know them as air plants. Also got some Echeveria plants. Now this is a Winko mix that I've got here, and I'm keeping more to the grey, bluey, subtle tones that help to reinforce that fair aqua colour palette. And then I've got finally <clears throat> a plastic based foam floor foam letter. Now what I've done is it's actually been used once before so I've removed all the foam that was inside the lettering and I've folded a 70 by 91 um, millimeter hessian ribbon uh, in half and actually glued that around the outside of the frame just finishes the frame up. You could use other things, you could stick bark on or something similar just to create that kind of rustic feel. All right, so I'm now going to put it all together. I hope you enjoy.
So I hope you enjoyed our planted letter. Uh, as always, I have some top tips for you. So top tip number one, air plants, that's the Tillamsia, they don't actually need soil, so they're perfect for planting in moss or sand. And top tip number two, it's a perfect way to reuse a plastic letter base, otherwise it would just be dumped. So turning into our eco-friendly hat today. <laughs> and then top tip number three, it's really low maintenance and really long lasting. So very cost effective um, for a, a commercial or a corporate environment. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more inspiration ideas using that color palette of Fair Aqua. Next up, we're going to be incorporating a really simple vase design. Don't forget to like us, share us with your friends and family, and also go and visit our YouTube channel um, for lots more tips and inspirational ideas. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to welcoming you back again very, very soon. Bye for now.